this weekend we're headed over to Brownville Park in DeSoto County. Um, we're headed over there. It's located right on the Peace River. And we've seen a lot of really good reviews about the park. And uh, everybody really seems to love it. And we've been looking forward to getting over here and uh, doing some fossil hunting in the river. We've seen a lot of people do it. Uh, we kind of called and checked in with them to see, you know, when was the best time to come over and, and try to do that. And they said really before before the rainy season starts is usually best. Um, that way the river's lower and it's, it's easier to do with the low river um, before the river starts to come up in the rainy season. It's been extremely dry and extremely hot, so the river should be low. Um, we read some reviews of people that have been there recently and they had really good success in fossil hunting, finding a bunch of shark's teeth and different things. So we're really good, looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to bringing it to you guys and uh, we'll just go over here and see what's up. Site 11. It's a really long site, so easy to get into. A few trees, but overall, uh, a lot of room out in front of the site, so there shouldn't be a problem getting in here. So it makes it nice. I mean, the sites are this side anyway. Um, it's kind of set back from the other sites, so you're not, you know, you're not staring right out your neighbor. They're up there ahead of you a little bit, so it gives you plenty of space out back here when you're outside. Very nice park. <sighs> okay guys, last night we got to the campground and it's very hot out today. If I could, if I could say how, how hot it is, either one would, 100 degrees it felt like. And there's a short nature trail we just went on, on over, well, somewhere over there. there. And, and it's really cool because it's short and I'm not really a big fan of trails so that, so that works good. Anyway, we're gonna go down to the river, the river in a couple of minutes, it's, and maybe we can find some shark teeth. Maybe we're gonna see it. What is that giant wolf? Oh, um, that guy? Here, I'll dig. Oh, 
Okay, so this spot that we are at is at Brownsville Park, which is a DeSoto County Park in Arcadia, Florida, and it's just an amazing spot. It's a five minute walk from our campsite, and there's not that many people here at all. We highly recommend it. They found so much, and we can't wait to show you it all. It's really awesome. We just scored big. It kind of looks like a rock, but this is a mag part of a megalodon to us. One of the best finds of the day, for sure. All right, so here's our haul from the Peace River yesterday. Uh, we spent about two and a half hours down there fossil hunting and uh, so many shark's teeth. We found just over a hundred shark's teeth. This is probably the coolest tooth that we found. Um, it's a partial, thickened possibly a megalodon tooth, part of a megalodon tooth. Um, it's a very, very big chunk of a tooth. So. If the whole tooth was intact, that'd be one uh, one pretty giant tooth, that's for sure. And then the fossils and bones that we found, found a lot of these type bones. Um, and these are dugong bones. So basically a relative of the manatee. Uh, the bones are really heavy. And the reason they're heavy was to help with the buoyancy to offset all the fat that those animals have on them. We found another bone here. I'm going to do some investigation, see if we can figure out what that's from. But super awesome, you know, finding all this stuff out there and, and searching through the bottom of the river. Um, it's amazing that people come here and do this all the time. And uh, there's just no shortage of shark's teeth to be found out there. It's just unbelievable that that many shark's teeth can be uh, in one in one area. When, when so many people come out here to do it. Um, the river was super low, which is the best time to try to come and do this. We were out there probably two feet in two feet of water, um, just kind of digging off the bottom and putting the, putting the mud and, and the silt in the, uh, in the sifter and just sifting through and see what we found. So it's pretty awesome. You never know what you're gonna dig up out there. Another thing that was pretty cool, there, there wasn't, it wasn't super busy. Um, there was only about two or three other families out there that were digging around and we found all this in just a little probably 20 30 yard stretch of river I mean we didn't go far um, we walked down the nature trail that's here at the park got in down at the end of the nature trail which isn't far at all and then walked down the river bank just a little bit uh, until we found a good shallow spot with a nice gravel bottom uh, that we could kind of dig in so Super awesome experience, uh, some very cool finds, and uh, we will absolutely, absolutely be back to do this again. Uh, had a blast, awesome. All right, so we made it back from Brownville Park in Arcadia, and uh, what a phenomenal place this is. I mean, it's very small. Uh, there's only 12 RV sites there, so there's not a tremendous amount of RV campers, but there is a lot of tent campers that go there. Uh, there's a lot of people that come in for the day uh, and picnic there and do things like that. The park's 75 acres. Uh, and has a nice little nature loop trail you can walk and some other trails um, but the highlight by far is the fossil hunting um, I took a field trip when I was in sixth grade and uh, we got to go and, and do some fossil hunting in the phosphate mines um, in central Florida and that field trip really stuck with me and I was super excited to be able to share that kind of experience with uh, with Dylan and with the family um, it was just just awesome you know so many sharks teeth to find out there I mean it's really amazing that people come here and do this uh, all the time I mean people come and sift through that through the, the bottom of that river on a regular basis and just find a tremendous amount of sharks teeth so the fact that there's that many there uh, it's, it's really amazing it was super educational um, Dylan asked a lot of questions about how the sharks teeth got all the way from the ocean all the way you know that far into the river when it's fresh water and um, so just a, a real educational experience, super fun time, 
uh, a wonderful little park uh, and really really a, a little a little hidden treasure over there in Arcadia and uh, if you're ever in that area um, I would highly recommend stopping in there and uh, taking a walk down to the river and uh, dig through the bottom of that river and see what you can find I mean there's no telling what you're gonna what you're gonna dig up there uh, people find big megalodon shark's teeth find a lot of different types of fossils there um, so super fun time and just highly highly recommend you know if, if you've never done it um, definitely go over there and check it out and uh, you'll, you'll have a blast but if you are interested in camping at Brownville Park you will have to call them to make the reservation they don't do online reservations and you will have to pay by check or cash they don't accept card but it's a great little park and we had a great time would definitely recommend it yeah there's some real there's some real old school kind of campgrounds in that part of Florida um, it's not too far from Hardy Lakes um, where we stayed uh, over in Hardy County and uh, it, that's kind of on that same general area and you know there again um, another park that just you don't hear a lot about but just a beautiful beautiful park with a tremendous amount of wildlife running around there um, so in that area of Florida there are some real some some real old school little campgrounds um, and uh, just beautiful places that uh, that a lot of people don't go to you know some local you get some locals there but uh, beautiful spots and uh, I highly recommend checking them out if you haven't so we hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to follow along on our full-time RV adventures, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.